Hey y'all, Groovy Mom here. I'm coming back to you with another recipe. Today I'm going to be making um, burgers, but I'm going to be using half hamburger, half uh, black bean. So it's a different recipe, haven't made it before, kind of excited to try it. Just another way to stretch the uh, burger meat out. So while I'm cooking, I'm going to be having one of these, um, oh my, how do you pronounce that? Uinta? I don't know. Uh, barley wine. These are good. I like barley wines. Um, oh, Salt Lake City. Uinta? Uinta? I don't know. If anybody knows out there, tell me. Uh, it's pretty good. It's kind of bitter. I've had, I've had one before, but I'm going to have that on the side while I cook. I'm a little bit nervous about my lighting because last time I was making that corn chowder and you couldn't even see what was in here. So if you have any tips, let me know. I'm just using my stove light. Um, so hopefully as I make more videos, uh, they will get better. I will get better. It'll all get better. Uh, all right, so I'm going to start off with one pound, and I'm just kind of squeezing off a pound of this burger meat. And I'm going to go ahead. So the um, what I've seen, like from the things that I've seen, it said to use a food processor to mix this up, but I don't have a food processor. Anytime I need to use a food processor, um, like I make salsa, um, and I'm, I'm gonna make a video of that too because it's so, so stinking easy uh, that anybody should be doing it and not buying it at the store, or at least not buying it as much as I normally do. Um, but I use my magic bullet because it's just easier. Let me see if I, Move this here, can you see it better? Looks like meat. So I think the basic idea, my, my initial thought uh, on this was to use um, refried black beans so that they were already kind of a squishy consistency. And I am having some regrets as I squish this up because there's no way in heck I'm gonna get it squished up so nice that you can't tell these are beans. But no bother, no bother. We're not gonna freak out yet. Um, but this is gonna take me a little bit to squish up my hand. It's not going to be perfection. That is for darn Skippy. Um, and yes, I'm wearing gloves. I buy boxes of kitchen gloves at Costco because it just, I don't, I, don't know, I wash my hands a lot. Uh oh. And this is something that I feel like you really can't always get out of your hands so easy or get out from under your nails or, you know, I take my rings off uh, if, I'm, if I'm getting down and dirty and I don't have gloves on, but I like to have gloves. So it helps, it just helps me. So anyway, I'm squishing this up. I am also going to add some spices to it. Um, and let me ponder what I'm gonna add here. Once again, I was um, taking a picture instead of recording, so cheers to you. That was ridiculous. But, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and um, I put in some salt, pepper, and a little bit of the Lowry's seasoning salt. Um, just for poops and giggles, I mean, like, whatever you normally put in um, to... Getting some more gloves out here. Whatever you normally put into your... Um, burger meat, which might be nothing. That's what I would do because I don't know. I don't really see any point to it. I saw that some um, recipes called for salsa into the um, the mixture, but I eh, I don't know. Something about that just isn't sounding great to me right now. Thought about using uh, cumin, but I think I'm gonna go mostly commando and just use the salt, seasoning salt, and pepper. So I'm gonna go mush this up a little bit more and then I'm gonna uh, get it into some patties. Oh, ha, ha. Thank goodness for editing. I just had a little uh, snafu and my bread just, um, just made a mess, but uh, all is well. So here I got, if you could see, I got uh, five patties. I thought I had six, um, but I got five patties I wanted to make them a decent size. So I have one for each person that's, I think so, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, each person that should be gracing my household at some point this evening. Um, I never know who's eating what because I have um, one of my sons that's uh, at home uh, does uh, MMA fighting. So you saw him in another video if you watched the other video with uh, cookies, I think. He's uh, in the process of cutting weight. So kind of don't know if he's going to eat sometimes or not eat sometimes or if he already has something else planned to eat. Um, and I, all my all my boys were wrestlers. And so I don't know if this is normal for wrestlers for the rest of their life. But they just, uh, the way they keep their weight or how they eat, um, I don't know. It just, it mystifies me sometimes. Um, so, and of course, if I don't make dinner and they come home, they're like, hey, where's the dinner? And if I do make dinner, they're like, oh yeah, I was going to have something else. So, whatever. Um, so what I'm using here is I'm using a little bit of bacon fat that I had left over. Yep, shock, whatever. Um, and I'm just using a little bit because the, the burgers are going to have some, some fat in them, so that should help them not stick. I turned up the burner to five. And you can probably, you can probably see me bouncing back and forth here. I have a little bit of a hard time standing still sometimes. So anyway, I'm letting this get get good, and I think it's I think it's at the warmth I need. So I'm just gonna plop a couple burgers on here and let this skillet do its magic. And the other the other part that I've been uh hmm, how do I put it? Thinking more about, I guess. Um, as I kind of try to figure out my own home finances and try to keep meals, um, you know, healthy but affordable. And, you know, like the other day we had ramen, um, but today we're having meat from Whole Foods. So it's like, a, it's like a balance, at least in my household. I'm not rich by any means. We're living off of one salary right now. Um, I had a full-time job, but I... Uh, I'm taking a little hiatus from it uh, as I, my daughter just had a baby and so we're, we're helping her out because daycare expenses are very high. Um, and I raised our five kids off my husband's salary as well. I lived at home. So it's kind of interesting. It's like I'm, I've, I've come full circle a bit and I'm doing some of the old habits that I used to do to pinch pennies. So, um, but not, you know, all of our children are adult children now so we help them in different ways but we also um you know ask them to help themselves in other ways so but i do like cooking for my family i do like to have a meal um for people the people that are living with me i like to be able to provide something i can't always some days i'm tired some days i don't have something planned some days i'm super busy and i don't and that's you know that's fine um but tonight i will have something and then tomorrow if i don't i won't feel bad and one thing Frank and I really enjoyed when when I was working, or what we always have enjoyed doing, is going out to eat. But of course, if you're trying to cut costs at all or pay things off, which we are trying to do, um, going out to dinner is one thing you just have to cut out. So sometimes it's nice to have a little a little something at home that feels like going out and it's not your you know $5 meal. So this is kind of one of those, because like I said, I did get the meat at Whole Foods and... I'm having a barley wine. Frank picked up um, a beer. I asked him to just find a beer that he wanted to try. So, and, ooh, ooh, these are looking good and they smell good. So, I'm gonna let these go a little bit more and I'm not gonna uh, let this camera keep going. I'm gonna check in in a little bit. I have flipped the burgers and now they're going on the other side. This side looks real nice and it smells good. I'm gonna go ahead and keep these going. I am probably going to um, turn on the keep warm feature on my oven because not everybody's home and they kind of stagger home. Um, so I'm gonna let these kind of just sit in the oven. But I am going to add some cheese pretty soon. Last two burgers have been popped in. These are sitting right here because those ones are going in the oven um, for people arriving later. I am going to add a little oh, cheese on top. Let's 
see. Um, and I'm just using some cheap old smoked provolone from Walmart. That seems like that would go good though with this recipe. So there we go. So I did add a little bit of more bacon grease, which is good because this is a pretty lean meat. Okay, I just want to show you this for those of you that are worried about using iron skillets. This is my skillet and that was Sal's feet. Um, but after I've been using it, this is my skillet. Came perfectly clean, was super easy, took me about less than a minute. So here is my burger. I've got some of my homemade pickles. I've cut, put a couple onion slices on there. And I got my ketchup and mustard on the side just in case I don't like how it tastes with the burger. Okay, so I am back with my burger. I double checked and cut it down the center to make sure it wasn't um, still breathing because I get a little, little nauseous at the thought of eating anything pink, although it doesn't bother other people in the family so much. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it and dig in. I think I'm going to try it once without any ketchup or mustard just to see if I notice any difference in taste because it's a bean burger. Mix. Hmm. I guess I don't notice anything different. I notice that the bread is fantastic. So this is a beer that Frank got. Double, what is that? Double E? Fantasy Factory, double IPA. Double IPA. Best thing about it are the cats. <laughs> I love cats. So I'm not really sure that it goes great with a burger, but we're from Wisconsin, eh? So burger and beer. I'm going to try this, too. See what I think. Hmm, it's interesting. I'm not sure it's a burger beer, though. I think this is a pretty good meal on the naughty factor. I would rate it a naughty, 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 naughty. That's four. Four. Four naughties, because I really can't even tell there's black beans in it. Um... And it tastes good. Not that I'd make it all the time, but I would uh, definitely do it again. I want to try it with the refried beans because I think that might be interesting. So I'm going to finish this up before it gets cold. And you should try it. I think you should try it, especially if you're trying to stretch a meal or add some more fiber, a little more toot to your poot. Um, add some beans. See what you think. Um, so anyway, if you like the video or want to watch some of my other ones, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, come back later, leave me a comment, la 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 la. All right, see you later. Bye-bye. All right, so for Poops and Giggles, this is Sal's burger, and he's actually got some ketchup on there. I didn't take a picture with our chips because we're trying to eat the last of our bag of chips, and <laughs> this is what they look like, but they taste good. They taste all right.